Government and all students are working towards the restoration of Kigezi College, Butobere Kabale Municipality. This is after the once Kigezi's academic giant almost closed its gates due to lack of students, disrepair and maladministration. In January this year, at the opening of the first academic term for 2022, the school enrolled less than 100 students, whereas only seven students were in Senior 1. The number of students there has continued to reduce due to several factors, including indiscipline, poor performance, and poor infrastructure setup. In a meeting that was held at the school premises to welcome the newly appointed board chairperson and members, the school's current head teacher, Justice Masiko, said that the school is being threatened by a high debt burden and a very low enrollment of students. SAF has done its best to bail out the school, but the struggle continues. At this time, I can request for a combined effort to look at the possibility of waving off this debt. The newly appointed chairperson Board of Governors Moses Turiom Rujendo said government disbursed through billion shillings for the renovation of the school ever since it was constructed. We believe that that will go a long way in uh, solving some of the image challenges we have been having. The school learners environment not being good. The chairperson alumni forum Elvis Twenda said that despite the government's commitment to support the rehabilitation of the school, the old boys will also do all they can to restore the glory of the school. We need to bring back our senior spirit. Come together, pull resources where need be, pull ideas which are the most important, and then we push for the glory of our school. The State Minister for Finance in charge of general duties, who is also an old boy of the school, Henry Musasa, confirmed the availability of Ugandan shillings to a billion currently dispersed for the school's renovation. The government has made efforts to bring back these schools to normal levels in terms of the renovations Moses is talking about supporting libraries, laboratories, and many other interventions. Minister Musasa's father asked the new board members and other stakeholders to consider the effective use of the funds for the school's benefit.